Hey there, welcome to the Dev Channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to use UI Image View and create animations, just like the Twitter animation you're gonna see on the screen right now, I guess, right? So like the heart one, it's actually that exact GIF or something very close to it, right? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's really easy and simple and it involves a sprite sheet, right? Now I made a video on how to cut a sprite sheet. You don't need to go through it, but if you want to link a description, it will be to showing you how to produce the images for this video. And if you want to skip that part entirely, I have a link in the description to my Dropbox that contains all the tiles or images, sprite, little like uh, the frames, I guess, for the animation, right? But if you're kind of lost at what I'm saying right now, just keep watching and it will come clear to you and you'll know what to do in the description if you choose to. If you don't want to do anything in the description, you really don't have to in this video. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so go ahead and open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. If you don't have Xcode, download that junk ASAP. All right, it's free from the App Store. All right, so next thing you wanna do is choose single view app and let's call this uh, heart uh, stuff, heart animation, heart animation, UI image animation. All right, and put that junk in your junk. All right, put it, oh, don't be slow now. All right, so what the freak? This is weird, weirdly slow. Anyway, what you wanna do is just get it up and running, right? Okay, so go in your view controller.swift and let's put an image view on the screen. Let's say let image, let's say let IV and then let's say uh, it's type UI image view. And this is a different type of declaration than you're probably used to. I don't know, maybe some of you do it this way, but um, let me boost this up a bit. But uh, this is the superior way to do it, just letting you know now. And let's say let IV is equal to UI image view, and then just return the IV here, the image view, right? And then let's go ahead and let's get our images and throw them into here. Um, let's see if this compiles first though. I'm pretty sure it should, but it's giving me an error. Xcode, why you gotta be like that though? All right, so it, it is working, it's just Xcode's the way it is. All right, so while that's loading, let's go ahead and talk about the actual images. All right, so I have this folder called Dem Hearts Do, and it contains all the sprites, right? Now I generated these from this uh, image right here, right? Now you probably don't wanna generate all this, you're probably just trying to learn this, or you have your own sprite sheet that you're trying to do this with. I made a video just barely, it's three minutes long, uh, on how to create the images out of this. It's really quick, it's in the description below. If you don't wanna do that though, and you don't have an image, just go ahead, or the images, go ahead and find the link in the description below that has all these images, right? I have a Dropbox link. I'll make it very clear uh, what link it is in the description. Go check that now and download this if you wanna follow along with these images. I suggest you do follow along with these images. It'll be easier, okay? So let's go ahead and exit that. And then I'm gonna throw these images into my project, into my assets, okay? So I'm gonna throw the hearts right into here. And then notice the naming. Notice it's tile zero, one, two, three. Make sure it's named like this because this is gonna make it easy because we're gonna get all these images in with a for loop really easily. Okay, so go to viewcontroller.swift and in our image view, let's just say, we're gonna wanna be able to click it. So we have to say iv.isUserInteraction enabled, let's say is equal to true. And then we're gonna say iv.image is equal to UI image, and we're gonna put a default image. So it makes sense to put the very first image in, and that is called tile0.png. Now let's go ahead and double check our assets just to make sure that's the name of it, okay? So tile0, we want it to be that blank, kind of dark uh, gray heart right there, right? So tile0.png, okay? So next thing we need to do is put this on the screen. Now I prefer to do things with storyboards. So where's my simulator? What the freak? Oh, it's right there. Okay, so let me just put the simulator over here. Notice there's nothing on it. But what we wanna do is put it on the screen without storyboard, okay? And it'll be really easy using auto layout constraints programmatically. So what we'll do is we'll first add it. We'll say view.add subview IV, and then we'll say IV dot uh, we already did that. Well, no, we didn't. We'll say translates auto resizing mask into constraints is false, so we can add the constraints. And then we'll just say iv.hideanchor.constraint is equal to constant 75.isActive is true. I'm just doing this part quick because it's so uh, unrelated to the actual uh, animation. I just want to hustle through it. Okay, so just copy this code in. If you want to learn more about auto layout constraints, I have a video on it. 
Okay, but for the auto layout constraints in this, I'm not going to explain them too much because this is centered around UI image view. Okay, so center y anchor dot constraint. Whoa, 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 whoa. This got really complicated real quick. Okay, center y anchor dot constraint. Well, I need that auto layout. I don't remember how to do this. Just kidding, I probably do. Okay, so it's equal to view dot center y anchor, and then we'll say dot is active is equal to true. I wonder why it's not auto laying, auto completing. Okay, now copy that and then let's say center x anchor is equal to view.center x anchor. That should work. Let's go ahead and reload our application and see if it's on the screen. What's wrong with this? That's not wrong. Bruh. Center y Oh, I didn't capitalize the A. That's why it wasn't auto completing. Okay, so go ahead and select that. And uh, let's just like wait a couple years for this to freaking load. There we go. And you'll see we have our, our image right there, right? Now just to make it abundantly clear like of what's going on, I'm gonna make this image like 200 pixels. I'll make it real big. But obviously in your app, it's gonna be something around 75 pixels, okay? Okay, so that puts our image in there, okay? Now what we need to do is store in an array our images, okay? Our animation of images. So what we need to do is declare that up here. Let's say var sprite, because it's like a sprite image. Go ahead and Google sprite image and you'll see what this is. And we'll set that equal to an empty array. And the next thing we're gonna do, I think we can declare it like this. Let sprite is equal to, and that declares it as an empty array, I think. Hey, did that actually work? I'm so happy right now. All right, wow, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our images in there now, okay? So what we need to do is say four, and then we'll say i and zero, dot, 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 less than 29, and then we'll say sprite dot append, and then we'll put our new element in, which is a UI image, and then this is gonna be of named, and then we're gonna use our default tile, right? And, it, and then uh, we're gonna put in the I, right? So do that with string interpolation. Basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna go through zero to 28, right below 29, right? And it's gonna put it in. So let's go ahead and print that just so you understand what's going on, how we're getting these images in here, okay? So print that and then this is saying, hey, it might not exist. Now if I made a mistake here, it might actually crash, right? But uh, because I'm explicitly saying, hey, do this. I'll make a video on optionals and explain those if you want and maybe come back here and put it in the description. If you're looking for a video explaining this bang, I'll go ahead and uh, put a link in there. It's probably in the description, but that's not gonna happen for like a month. So don't expect it to be there if you're watching this. All right, unless you're watching this in like February or March. Well, mostly March. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and reload our application. And this time, let's look at the console and see if we're getting anything in our console. We should be getting tile zero, 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 zero. Oh, it's gonna crash actually, it shows. Oh, never mind, it's not. We don't have to say dot PNG, but we could have. But basically, you can see now uh, that we have tile zero, one, two, three. Notice all that, right? Pretty awesome, pretty swag, all right. But then in assets, it's the same exact thing. Okay, so that's how we're getting our images in there. And now we have all of our images inside of our sprite array of UI image. So now all we have to do is animate our image. Very simple, I'll show you right here. Let's say objective C funk, and then we'll say animate this bit, this boy, and then we'll say iv.animation images, and then we'll set that equal to self.sprite images. Yeah, self.sprite. Now let me just type that one time just so you can see like the description because it always helps to see that. I wanna teach you guys how to use Xcode, not just how to code exactly what I'm doing. Okay, you'll see animation images, an array of UI image objects to use for an animation. And then we can set that equal to sprite or self.sprite. And then we can say iv.animation duration is equal to, let's say this takes about 0.5, so half a second. And we'll say anim iv.animation repeat count. We'll set that equal to one unless you want her to repeat more than one time for whatever reason. Try putting in like 10 and see what that does. IV.startAnimating, and that's all we need to do, except for we need one way, one more thing, and that is basically a gesture rec recognizer so that when we actually click this, it does something. So let's go ahead and say IV.addGestureRec, add gesture, wow, I can't say it. Add gesture rec recognizer add gesture recognizer and then it takes in a ui gesture recognizer and this one used to always trip me up but i finally kind of got the hang of it we want to put in a ui tap gesture recognizer 
and then open parenthesis, and then we'll say initializes an allocated gesture recognizer object with a target and an action selector. Uh, half that didn't make any sense to me, but I saw target and action selector. So let's say target is self, and the action is going to be selector self dot animate. Okay. Now what's going to happen is when we click this IV, this image view, it's going to run animate, and then we're going to animate our image view. So now if I were writing this normally, I would like make this a function that can be used with other image views. But since this is just showing you the concepts, there's no freaking reason to. But uh, if that's something you want, an updated video, I'll redo this video. But yeah, go ahead and click it now and you'll see we have our animation. Now it looks really pixelated and that's just because it's so freaking huge. So let's make it 75 by 75 again and you'll see that it looks really good. Hmm, all right, all right. All right, so go ahead and click it and you'll see we have our animation, okay? All right, so yeah, that's what we built in this video. I'm gonna put this in the beginning of the video. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but I'm going to. Um, but yeah, go ahead and leave a like, please, and subscribe. I'd say leave a heart, but there's no heart on YouTube. Well, actually, there is. I think I can heart your comments. So leave a comment saying you liked it and I'll heart it. I, guess. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it was good uh, showing you guys how to do this. Let me know what you want below and I'll make it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, mostly Twitter and Instagram and uh, basically everywhere else because I'm trying to grow this brand. So yeah, I want to make you more content. But uh, hope that answered your questions. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, like I just said five times, but yeah, see you guys later.